Nanny Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. A Palm Coast man who took his own life on New Year's Day becomes Flagler County's first suicide of 2019. John Arking reports. According to the Flagler County Sheriff's Office, 74-year-old Daniel Kennedy called a friend in North Carolina and said he planned to take his life following the death of his wife who had passed away from cancer just after Christmas. The friend called authorities who responded to Kennedy's home on Pritchard Drive and found Kennedy in the shower stall with a gunshot wound to the chest. Although he was still breathing, Kennedy passed away about a minute before Flagler County Fire Rescue paramedics arrived. An investigation then commenced, although all signs point to a suicide. While figures for 2018 aren't yet complete, Flagler County led Florida proportionally in 2017 for the rate of suicides. Officials remind the public there is a 24-hour crisis line for residents to call at 800-539-4228. In addition, the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline is 800-273-8255. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Erking. This portion of Flagler's Morning News is brought to you by the Daytona Beach International Airport. Save time, money, and stress. The Daytona Beach International Airport, it's just plain easy. So what's wrong at the Flagler County Sheriff's Office? County Administrator Craig Coffey said nothing is wrong that they can find. What we've done is we've taken this issue very seriously. We've tested everything we could test, and we haven't found anything wrong with the building. Coffee said that some of the people who say they're sick from working in the building are sick. But at the end of the day, I don't believe it's connected to the building. He said they replaced everything in the building, but that no tests have connected the illnesses with the building's air quality. Coffee said as to the comments on social media, he can only deal in facts, not people's opinions. Tomorrow... Why does Sally Sherman work for Flagler County? From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. The longest-serving uniformed sheriff's office employee is leaving the force. Mark Carman, whose title was once Palm Coast Police Chief, is leaving to become Crescent City's police chief. Carman has been on the force for more than 30 years, outlasting four sheriffs, three mayors, and three city managers. He's seen Palm Coast grow from 25,000 residents to 90,000 people. Most recently, he focused on active shooter drills, taking his show on the road. But in his distinguished career, he was one of just four Flagler County Sheriff's deputies to go to ground zero after the World Trade Center terrorist attacks on 9-11. Carman, who's 57, is not ready to quit working, so he's moving across the pond. Sheriff Rick Staley calls his departure a loss for the sheriff's office but wishes him the best. Staley will recommend Commander David Williams to replace Carman as the liaison for the city. Florida Hospital Flagler began the new year with a new name. It's now called Advent Health Palm Coast, eliminating confusion with Flagler Hospital in St. Augustine. Hospital officials say the name change will help customers identify and navigate the system across the state. They also called it a step in making the hospital more consumer-friendly. With it comes a major upgrade to the Deltona ER, which will see a $25 million 12-bed emergency room and two-story medical office in Palm Coast Matanzas Woods Area Parkway. Construction on the ER is expected to take 10 months and will begin as soon as Advent Health completes the land purchase and obtains building permits, a name for that facility facility has yet to be determined. Residents of Palm Coast have the opportunity to shape the city's future, Tony Magoo explains. The residents of Palm Coast will be invited to take a survey that could shape the future of this city. We have Cindy Lane with us on the phone. She's the communications and marketing manager for Palm Coast. We like to do a homegrown survey that we create in-house that targets a little bit more closely some of the issues that our citizens are interested in. How important is this for the city? It helps us do planning so that the city council can prioritize what are the most important initiatives and how to fund those as we go into the new budget season. When and where are the surveys? From January 2nd to February 2nd. People can go to the city website, which is palmcoastgov.com. You can also take the survey in person during regular business hours, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. weekdays at Palm Coast City Hall, the Palm Coast Utility Office, and the Palm Coast Community Center. This is a great opportunity to voice your opinion on matters related to the future of Palm Coast. We're looking forward to seeing the citizens' ideas and getting started on this. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Tony Bagoo. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.